Hello there, my name is Ismos, and today I want to show you how to make these bevel profiles in Blender. So you usually find these on uh, ceilings, uh, house ceilings and uh, stuff like that. So I have uh, a few variations of uh, bevel profiles here. And uh, of course, if you're a Patreon, you can uh, download these for free on my Patreon page. Uh, but uh, yeah, let me just show you how you can make them quite easily. You can see they bend in all directions. So if say you wanted to use something like this, uh, I have separated the separated them in two three parts so that uh, if you wanted uh, say you can use them however you want let me just get this just ex extend this and uh, use this for maybe a corner area like that and then can duplicate this use that and just select this so that, can, so that I can snap this. Okay, this should be mirrored. This would be mirrored. So you can see how you can uh, use them in different areas. Let me just duplicate this again. Yeah, you can see how you can easily use them in different areas. So uh, if you're a patron, you can request, you, you will find the projects in, on the patron page uh, so that you can download this and uh, better. Uh, for everyone else, let me just show you how you can easily make them. And uh, yeah, so you can start with uh, a curve object, Bezier. I'm just going to rotate it to face me, let me make sure this is recording. And uh, just change this, go to edit mode, uh, hit V and change this to vector so that uh, uh, you have these easier, easier to control uh, control points and then extrude, uh, design the profile however you want it. Just going to make something simple here. Uh, because uh, there are a lot of, if you search on Google, you can find uh, different bevel profiles uh, that you can trace. I just want to add in some curves in different areas. Just change this to aligned. So you trace the profile uh, to whatever you want. Maybe something like this. So assume this is your profile. You can convert it from 2D to 3D and uh, make sure you, you add it, you give it uh, a fill mode at front uh, so that you have it filled. Then you can either use uh, the extrude option here which will give you smooth end uh, edges like that or you can just use uh, the extrude uh, the solidify modifier which won't give you uh, actually also gives you some issues uh, I think on this profile so if you're having that issue you might want to come in and uh, change your profile a bit so that you don't have that experience that issue but uh, I'm going to use uh, the extrude version here uh, because it also makes it uh, smoothened and then if you want to make corner pieces like this all you have to do is uh, add a mirror modifier and uh, make sure you also add an empty to control that uh, modifier so then you select that empty to be your mirror object and then rotate it 45 degrees now you're going to see that uh, the mirror is intersecting so you want to turn on bisect uh, so that you get something like that uh, so this would be uh, this corner piece here and uh, to, to expand it you just move this along the x-axis so hit G X and uh, you can expand this however you want so that would be the corner piece uh, so let me duplicate this again with the empty mirror object now this time I'll switch, I'll flip this to get uh, the other corner. But uh, it's, it's uh, smoothing, smoothening a lot of areas that I don't, that I want to stay sharp. So I'm just going to convert this directly into a mesh uh, so that we can uh, control that. So 
control a apply view geometry and uh, that should convert it into a mesh and uh, everything now i can turn on uh, auto smooth at smoothen the normals and retain uh, the sharp areas that i want to stay sharp like that yeah for the middle part that i just just make sure that uh, duplicate this and uh, just get a face like this, extrude and then delete uh, the rest of the faces. You just have to fill this in like that and you're good to go. Again, this is going to be, all these pieces are going to be available to my patrons. Uh, if you are, if you support me uh, in that way, you can uh, download uh, the project files uh, with all uh, these profiles, bevel profiles uh, in there. Because I find these are really, really, uh, they can give you a headache to create from scratch every time you want to make especially if you're doing HVs especially if you're doing HVs uh, this can take you quite a lot of time uh, to make uh, so if you have a project like this a file like this uh, where you can just copy and paste them, them from, one, from one place to another it can make it can make your life quite easy another thing I'll be doing I guess is uh, I think they're called you can see you can search for bevel profiles if you want to trace these yourselves uh, but uh, there are also ones, uh, I, I'm not sure what they're called, but the, there are also ones that are, are found uh, near the floor. I think they're called sweeps. I don't know, sweep profiles, I think. And you can see there are quite a few variations. So you can go to Pinterest and uh, search for sweep, I think, sweep profiles. And I'll find a few of them and address them directly with... Uh, yeah, with a curve modifier. But I'm also going to be making, uh, let me find flow. Let me find the ones I want to talk about. Ah, let me see if I can find these here. Uh, these here. I'm also going to make others for that, for the flows, uh, so that if you want to get those, you can also uh, use that as well. Because uh, it, they can be annoying to make every time you want to create a project. So if you have a project files, a project file where you can just copy and paste, it would make a lot of sense. And uh, yeah, so this is going to be available on my Patreon page. If you want to support me, you can uh, download uh, the, the project files with everything else. And I think I can also make a few windows because I want to get into HVs more. Uh, so, and I, I don't like to create everything from scratch every time I'm working on something. Some things you just uh, you shouldn't be yeah, doing that. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.